What is up guys, AJ here. So displays is one of the most crucial aspects of smartphones, laptops, monitors, TVs and many other electronic gadgets. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the differences between LCD display technology and OLED display technology. So for this comparison, I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy A70 and the Huawei Nova 3i. The A70 uses Super AMOLED display and the Huawei Nova 3i uses IPS LCD display. First, I'm going to talk about LCD display. So LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display. So LCD display has a lot of layers stacked on top of each other and on the back there is a backlight and this backlight uh, produces light, a little white light which passes through the liquid crystals and a bunch of polarizers and filters then finally to the color filter where the image is formed when the pixel is at the off state the horizontal polarizer blocks the vertical light and the vertical polarizer blocks the horizontal light so when voltage is applied to the liquid crystals the crystals actually twist or bend in order to let the light through so the liquid crystal actually bends the light in some other angles so the light can pass and reach the color filters Right now, what I said is the basic working of an LCD display. So different types of LCD displays have different types of crystal alignment and they move in different ways. So based on this, LCDs can be differentiated into various types. And I'll be making a video in future explaining different types of LCD and OLED displays. So subscribe to the channel to never miss those videos. LCD displays have two types of backlight. One is LED and the other is CCFL. So most LCD displays in today's world use LED backlight because LEDs consume less power, they last longer and they are brighter. So they have a lot of advantages compared to CCFLs. So in markets you might have heard that LED TVs a lot of times, LED TVs are actually LCD TVs with LED backlight. Now let's talk about the other guy in the room, that is OLED technology. Samsung Galaxy A70 uses Super AMOLED display. AMOLED is actually an advanced version of OLED display. So I'll be explaining about AMOLED and different types of AMOLED in the next video. So stay tuned for that. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. So unlike LCDs, Organic Light Emitting Diode displays can individually lit each pixels that means all the displays does not have a backlight so that means each pixels can be turned off individually so OLEDs work in a different way completely different way so OLEDs have an LED which is comprised of an organic layer which emits light when current is flowed through so all the displays have really less layers that makes them really flexible lightweight and they also consume less power compared to LCDs. Now let's compare both these type of displays. First I'm going to talk about viewing angles. So LCD displays have bad viewing angles compared to OLED displays. When viewed from different angles, the LCD displays has some color shifts, especially like in black colors. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the contrast ratios. As I've said before, LCD displays have a lot of layers and a backlight. So this backlight cannot be completely blocked by the polarizers, filters, or even the crystals. Even when the pixel is off, the light little bit reaches the front. That means the blacks are not really black. In case of this Huawei, I can see that the blacks are a little bit bluish and sometimes they are grayish too based on what type of LCD it is. Next is power consumption. So as I've said before, OLED displays can turn off each pixels individually. That makes OLED more energy efficient compared to LCD. So OLEDs consume less power compared to LCDs. Then the colors. Both of these displays have their own ways of showing colors. Both these displays are really saturated. 
I can really decide who is a winner in terms of colors. Both displays are really good in their own ways. As I've said before, all the displays have really less layers, which makes OLEDs flexible and LCD displays can be flexed. Lastly, I'm going to talk about cost of manufacturing. So all the displays are twice the manufacturing cost of LCDs. That makes LCD displays a really good option for affordable devices. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you get a new information. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.